In this video, we'll be going over how to connect your PEX account to QuickBooks Desktop utilizing the PEX QuickBooks Desktop app. The QuickBooks Desktop app allows you to manually download your transactions from PEX to your QuickBooks Desktop account. First, navigate to the Apps tab, which is the last tab of the menu options on the left of your dashboard. Within that tab, click the Available sub-tab. Here, you'll be able to scroll through the available apps we have in the PEX Marketplace until you find the QuickBooks Desktop app. Click on the tile for the QBD app, and a pop-up will appear, with a button that says Install. Click this button, and it will install the app in your Installed Apps section. The button will then change from Install to Launch. Click Launch to continue in a new tab. Once you have connected the accounts, the window will change to have either three or five tabs. If the window you have in front of you only has three tabs, stop here and go watch the video on setting up tags in the PEX platform as you will need those to continue. If you have five tabs, including one that says Configure Tag Mapping and one that says Configure Expense Category, we can start the configuration. The first tab is titled Choose What to Sync. The first option is to import all transactions as they come into the PEX system, or to only sync over the approved transactions from the PEX system. If you choose only approved transactions, you'll be able to double check these transactions for correct receipts tags before they sync as opposed to the All option, which will sync everything regardless of attachments. The next option is how you would like vendor information to be assigned on individual transactions. If you would like PEX to automatically search your vendor accounts for the vendor that came in on the transaction, and then make one if you don't already have one, turn on the toggle switch next to Create a Vendor Account for each unique merchant. The benefit of this is that you will always have the most detailed version of the transaction in your system. The downside of this is that if there are multiple Walmarts, Targets, or other chain stores that you frequently shop at, a new vendor will be created for each of them, as technically they all have different franchise numbers. If you would prefer not to do this, you'll need to set a default vendor for all of the transactions as they come in. A strategy many of our customers use is to create a vendor account in your system called PEX, and then set that as the default vendor in the system. The last option here is going to be the Start Date field, where you can decide when you would like the connector to start the transfer of transactions from. For example, you can set the start date to the beginning of a prior month, and then the app will pull all transactions from the start date based on the rules set above. Or you can set it to start on the first of the next month, and it will only start pulling in transactions from then onwards. There is also another toggle switch that, when turned on, allows you to set up an end date as well, if you would only like to pull over transactions for a specific period of time. The second menu tab is titled Choose QuickBooks Bank Account. In this tab, you have an input field that says Bank Account where you'll need to put in the exact spelling of how your bank account is represented in QBD. This is so QuickBooks can match the bank account in QuickBooks to the transfers that are coming into PEX. Once this is filled in, we can hit the Next button. The third tab in the App Configuration menu is titled Configure Tag Mapping. In this tab, you can map the correct tag from your PEX account that you have set up for your general ledger codes. For example, chart of accounts, expense categories, etc. to the expense account section in QBD. By selecting the correct tag from the PEX tag drop-down menu in this tab, you're telling QBD to take the information stored on each transaction under that tag as expense account information. This way, QBD will be able to mark each journal entry with the GL code selected by the cardholder in PEX. Underneath the Expense Account QuickBooks field, there are two additional QuickBooks fields that you can sync tags to, Expense Class and Customer Job. These are not necessary to move forward in the configuration, but if you have data in these fields in QBD that you would like marked on the PEX transactions and pulled over onto the journal entries, you have the option to configure these the same way as the Expense Account field. Once you're done setting up your tag mappings here, hit Next to move on to the next tab. The fourth tab on the QBD app configuration menu is titled Configure Expense Options. Here, you'll see a field titled Default Expense Account where you'll need to write in the exact name of one of your expense accounts that you want to be the default for unmarked transactions. The system needs a default expense account to mark journal entries into QBD in the case that a transaction goes into QBD without being tagged by a cardholder or an administrator. The best option for this will be the most generic ones which can be recognized by others as the default, such as uncategorized expense, miscellaneous expense, not yet classified, or ask administrator. This way, 
anything that makes it over to QBD does not get misclassified at the start since it will remain static. There are also two toggle switches at the bottom, one that says copy notes to expense and one that says copy notes to expense lines. These switches determine where the notes made by cardholders when reconciling transactions will appear on the journal entry as it comes into QuickBooks. Both can be turned on at the same time or you can choose one or the other based on your preference. We often recommend you start with both turned on just to see what both look like, and then you can edit either one later. The fifth and final tab on the QuickBooks Desktop app is titled Download Web Connector File. This is where you download the file that we'll be uploading into the QuickBooks Web Connector inside QuickBooks Desktop. Once you have the file downloaded onto the desktop that has the QuickBooks Desktop iteration on it, then you can hit the green Finish button. Once you're done with the app configurations and are on the Manage Connector page, you will be able to see the progress of any attempted syncs. The next step in this process is to get the QuickBooks app file uploaded into QBD. Open your QBD iteration and go to File, scroll to the very bottom and hit Update Web Services. This will open another window within your QuickBooks iteration, the QuickBooks Web Connector, QWC. In the QWC, there will be a button that says Add an Application. Choose the .qwc file from the connector configuration, and a new screen will pop up titled Authorize New Web Service. This screen will ask you to grant access to your QB company file, to which you should hit OK. If prompted with an application certificate allowing the PEX connector to read and modify your company file, select the Yes Always Allow Access even if QuickBooks is not running. This button is the last radio button in the selection. Now you should be able to see the PEX connector appear in the Web Connector box. In order to finish the setup, put your PEX Administrator user login password in the password box on the QWC screen. Once the password is in, check the checkbox next to the PEX Connector QWC file and then click the Update Selected button above to successfully run your new Web Connector file. You should see the application progress go to 100% and then you should be able to see all of your transactions pulled into QBD that have been selected based upon the rules set by your configuration. Upon closing the QWC window, it will tell you that scheduled jobs won't be able to run if you close the window. But this is not correct, as all jobs will run automatically on the hour regardless of if the window is open.